हेलो नमस्ते माय फ्रेंड्स हाउ आर यू वेलकम टू माय चैनल अगेन टुडे आई केम विथ अनदर वीडियो एंड दिस इज माय सेकंड ऑफिशियल वीडियो ऑन यूट्यूब चैनल होप यू गाइस आर एंजॉइंग माय वीडियो इन दिस वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू रिलेट अबाउट वन ऑफ द मेजर कंपोनेंट ऑफ इंजिन कूलिंग सिस्टम कॉल रेडिएटर यू कैन सी ऑन योर स्क्रीन इफ यू वॉन्ट टू नो अबाउट द इंजिन कूलिंग सिस्टम एंड इट्स कम्पोनेंट्स यू कैन वॉच माई प्रीवियस वीडियो Uh, in this video we are going to see the radiator types of radiator so let's start as i told you before uh, radiator consists of radiator upper tank and uh, radiator lower tank uh, this is the radiator upper tank and uh, this is the radiator lower tank and these both tanks are connected by the series of tubes and fins and also called radiator core radiator core is the uh, heat radiating elements and uh, you can see here uh, this one uh, which is connected from upper tank to lower tank this tube you can see these are uh, these are the tubes from where coolant passes through from upper tank to radiator lower tank by gravitational force as well as pumping method and uh, you can see this this ones these are the fins from where air passes by air drawn by the engine fan because of engine motion and in this portion in this portion uh, coolant gets cooled by radiating its temperature to the atmosphere and uh, you can see on the radiator lower tank uh, one hose pipe connection given this one and uh, this is the connected towards the water pump and this one is the outlet of the radiator and and another side you can see this is this is the drainage plug for uh, radiator we can drain the coolant from this drain plug and you can see on the top of the radiator another hose pipe connection given this one uh, this one is connected from a thermostat bulb this one is the inlet port for radiator and on the top of the radiator you can see this one this is the uh, radiator pressure cap i'll make another video for uh, special for uh, radiator pressure cap and uh, you can see this one a small pipe connection here given this is the vent tube also known as overflow pipe and uh, Uh, now let's see the type of uh, radiator according to the coolant flow we have two types down flow and cross flow and in uh, you can see both type of radiator on your screen uh, in down flow coolant flow due to gravitational force along with water pump and because of gravitational force uh, the circulation load uh, will be less on water pump and because of that the working life of the pump will increase and because of single tube damage entire cooling will not affected too much in this down flow and uh, uh, in the cross flow uh, radiator coolant flow uh, occurs only uh, due to uh, water pump and uh, all load will come on the water pump because of that working life will decrease and the uh, entire cooling uh, system will affected uh, more than uh, down flow if single tube will damage so if you see uh, if we compare these two type of radiator down flow is much better than cross flow and uh, uh, now let's see the construction of radiator uh, we can uh, find out the ra uh, radiator uh, made by especially uh, three materials uh, one is uh, cast iron and another copper bars and uh, also aluminum alloy now let's see the cast iron uh, in case of cast iron uh, it has a low heat conductivity and because of low heat conductivity thermal efficiency of engine in decreases and uh, obviously uh, the performance of the engine it means the output of the engine also decreases and because of made by the cast iron the weight of the vehicle uh, it means the weight of the radiator also increases now in case of copper brass it has a high heat conductivity uh, because of that thermal efficiency increases and uh, engine performance also automatically 
increases and uh, it has a lighter uh, in weight uh, than cast iron but heavier in weight from uh, aluminium alloy so it is little more expensive uh, and uh, in case of aluminium uh, it is similar like a uh, copper brass high heat conductivity because of their thermal efficiency increases and engine performance will be also increased it is lighter in weight than cast iron as well as copper brass and uh, it is affordable it means it has a low cost price you can get from outside in earlier days uh, uh, radiator wo were made by the cast iron but nowadays uh, in our market we can find out we can find uh, radiator almost made by the aluminium alloy with uh, plastic tanks you can see uh, and uh, you can see on the picture also okay so uh, this much for today guys hope you guys enjoy my video uh, we'll see in next video thank you have a good day